today we explore the latest and wonderful tool in natural language processing and machine learning called as chat gpt gpt stands for generative pre trained transformer which is a state of the art language model developed by open ai open ai is a leading research organization in the field of artificial intelligence today i will cover what is chat gpt why it is popular its utility applications and drawbacks and of course future when we say gpt or generative pre trained transformer it's a machine learning tool that uses deep learning techniques to generate human like text such as generating responses to customer inquiries answering questions or engaging in general conversation for example if i ask what is your name so the way human being uh, brain thinks and replies similarly uh, this uh, ai based chat gpt is being trained and re it responds accordingly suppose i you know ask somebody for some advice like say what should i do uh, after btech so the way human brain thinks and can reply similarly this uh, chat gpt responds so we can ask these kind of questions also from this chat gpt model it has been trained on a large or i must say huge database data set of human language allowing it to generate text that is both coherent and diverse though in real world businesses are already using artificial intelligence and machine learning technology to enhance customer interactions and improvise their service nowadays we see that almost all big online portals irrespective of their nature of business they are having chatbots on their uh, portals whether it is shopping portal or any service provider say jio fiber or say electricity board website say bses in delhi so they all have this chatbot facility but their chatbots are not trained so whenever a customer writes his query or say concern they are unable to solve because they are not uh, trained efficiently so unable to address the issues here in the case of chat gpt it is very advanced and no doubt wonderful model uh, but it has it is not the best and it has long way to go for sustenance though in media some people are claiming that it may replace google but looking at the current features and capabilities it will not happen so early and google concept is different this chat gpt concept is different what happens in google is it fetches the data whatever people like you and me have uploaded on internet on various websites forums journals etc and it is authentic because it has been written and approved by the human brain if i am looking for certain complicated answer suppose i want to solve any mathematical question say from trigonometry or from geometry or say arithmetic so google will not solve the answer uh, of that particular question for me this is where uh, difference lies if i have any specific question like say what should i do if i am feeling uh, too cold so google will not give me the advice what google will do it will matches the search string which i have typed and accordingly it will fetch similar kind of websites or urls so that i can look for my concern if i want uh, uh, some you know customized programming code for any software program then google will not write it for me this is also another difference because chat gpt is a highly advanced technique and it provides the best and relevant answers as per its inputs and training it answers user queries uh, it solves mathematical questions so it can be used by the students for their homework or you know to know the answer of their any you know question or say puzzle people can write articles using chat gpt can write poems music can be generated so whatever output we get via chat gpt that is based on the input provided to it and the capability of its training model the way we train accordingly it gives the output it, it is wonderful to experiment and work with chat gpt i explored it and uh, i you know gave it uh, certain assignments like you know solve this particular trigonometry questions and it gives me the formula uh, for that question to solve that and why it took 
the square root why it took the square uh, what is the reason along with the proper explanation it solved that particular trigonometric question then i tried to write one article i asked uh, chat gpt to write an article on quantum physics and meditation because article uh, title is quantum physics and meditation so it established the relation automatically this is the wonderful part so what it did it wrote one paragraph on quantum physics then on med meditation and then it, it established the relation between the two but when i wrote uh, same question using you know different different sentence formation it got confused and did not respond properly so this is one drawback of it it need to improvise more and one of the key features of chat gpt is its ability to maintain context and keep track of conversation over multiple turns we can write the article then we can ask it to reproduce that multiple times and it will keep track of all that and it allows uh, to generate more coherent and natural responses and meaningful conversation with users another notable feature is that it allows it to focus on specific parts of the input text it understand what i may looking for if i am typing one title for article or for any concern and it use that information to generate more relevant and accurate responses when we say applications of gpt then it can be used in wide range of applications uh, such as it can be used to generate responses to user inputs like you know we can talk like we talk to another human being so can be used as chatbots it can be used for language translation meaning translate text from one language to another and content generation uh, you can write the articles you can write the blogs it can be used in creative application like for generating music or say poetry and if we talk about the future of gpt no doubt it is a powerful tool for generating human like responses to text input and for engaging in natural language conversations it has wide range of potential applications including in customer service chatbots or other conversational inter uh, interfaces provided it continues to improve if it improves then it has a potential to revolutionize the way we interact with the machines possibilities are endless now let's talk a bit about drawbacks one is because it, uh, privacy is the biggest concern nowadays but chat gpt cannot be used without login it is informing its users that it is storing the entire conversation or user history and its team can also access to uh, that particular data and chat gpt requires this data in order to train it and to make it more user friendly and efficient if it has to you know sustain a long uh, if it has to sustain long way then it has to you know train it uh, on day to day or say hourly basis or say minute by minute otherwise it won't survive and uh, another drawback i feel is it is my personal opinion that it may uh, affect human brain efficiency for sure and it is a matter of great concern because if human especially children become uh, addictive of this ai based model for their day to day activities such as for homework then uh, it will affect their human brain efficiency and it will be a matter of medical research to know its effect on uh, brain efficiency if it happens for example we used to do mathematical calculations orally in childhood but in today's time students are mostly dependent on calculators they are unable to do even small arithmetic calculations of addition subtraction or say division etc except those who are learning vedic mathematics so but however any uh, machine can never replace human intelligence and as far as human like conversation is concerned it will not succeed fully because humans are emotional and social being also it may lack common sense as they say common sense is not so common so this is about chat gpt its features applications drawbacks future utility etc now let's have a live demo of it so that you understand how to use it so let's start with the demo of chat gpt i open a browser and write 
chat.openai.com i am already logged in into this website if you are a new user then you have to sign up first and then log in so after login we see the following page here on the left panel it is showing the work i have already done like i tried to you know for a poem on pollution and i then i tested it on hindi language like machine learning knowledge what is it here on the top uh, bottom we see that if i wish to you know clear this conversation this can be cleared from this panel but it will remain with a web server of the chat gpt meaning open ai can access whatever data uh, i have you know generated using their application or whatever i do they can access that and uh, now let's try suppose i want to again say write poem on write poem on pollution i try same thing it has given a wonderful poem beautifully generated and another beautiful part is if i want to regenerate this response i can click on it and it will rewrite the poem for me so this is one way this is the example of poem if you wish you can write article on any subject you can solve uh, mathematical questions let's take one simple question say of arithmetic or addition of any two numbers addition of 567.987 and 34598.67 i wrote addition but it understood that i am asking it to sum up these two numbers and it has see calculated it so if you know if we are doing some small uh, spelling mistake it recognizes that and gives the proper uh, response accurate response like a human brain thinks uh, yes at some places it is not accurate like if we you know type same question uh, and repeat the same question using you know different different type of sentence formation one word here second there or you know characters are you know misplaced then it gets confused also and it it never generates proper response so it says that i am unable to understand your concern something like that and likewise we can write any article on it if we want to you know write if uh, any programming code so we can write the programming code also suppose i ask it uh, write two numbers addition program in python so it has generated the programming code also but sometimes if we are looking for say some typical uh, programming code then we need to check human brain uh, testing and authentication is required because it may not give always accurate and perfect answers so we have to see that part and secondly uh, whatever you know for small things or for sort generalized thing it is fine but if you know if we ask you know specific question for you know if you, you are advanced programmer and you are stuck somewhere so it may give you help but whatever help or say you know code it is generating that you have to cross check so now suppose i ask he this to write an article on uh, say quantum physics quantum physics and meditation i am not asking for article also i simply say quantum physics and meditation and i press enter and let's see what it does so it has given ki both topics are different may be unrelated but it is explaining what is quantum physics then it is talking about uh, meditation and then it says that there is no direct causal relationship between quantum physics and meditation and uh, you know it is not giving the appropriate answer when i you know say 
general words and suppose if i write this article on quantum physics and meditation now it is writing different text and it is explaining in a better way now it says that quantum physics deals with the behavior of particles at atomic and subatomic level and then uh, it talks about meditation as well what is meditation and further it is establishing the relationship between both the topics it says that researchers have suggested that brain changes uh, that occur during meditation may be related to the principles of quantum physics this is something good next line it talks about the concept of non duality non duality which is a concept of vedanta but again it is not uh, giving the fulfilling answer you know to quench my thirst so human intervention is necessary for it if we are looking for say, you know some detail or in depth uh, query now let's try with some different subject and it is from ancient ayurveda let's see whether it has any information about that or not because normally people have not heard of those topics i type wonderful it is telling me about that also what is ghirand samhita it is an indian classical text on yoga and meditation so it's wonderful but yes as i said that it may not give the you know the information exact information i am looking for or say detailed information so when people are saying that it may kill google it will not happen because google fetches the information or from various websites forums and etc and it gives the listing of those particular websites and forums and you applying human brain we can extract our answers so this is about a demonstration of chat gpt live working hope uh, you enjoyed the video whatever is your feedback or if you are looking for any other information on the same topic please do write in the comment box this is all for today